What causes proteinuria? Your kidneys keep you healthy by filtering blood. They have small blood vessels called glomeruli. These structures remove waste, which enters the urine, and reabsorb protein that stays in the blood. But if your kidneys aren't functioning properly, the protein can leak into your urine. The result is high protein levels in the urine, known as proteinuria. There are different types of proteinuria, including glomerular proteinuria, tubular proteinuria, overflow proteinuria, postrenal proteinuria. In addition, albuminuria is a type of proteinuria where the excess protein is albumin. It's related to glomerular proteinuria. Glomerular proteinuria is the type being discussed below. Proteinuria may be related to temporary conditions, like dehydration, or more serious kidney damage. Let's explore the possible causes of proteinuria, along with its symptoms and treatment. What causes high protein in urine if you have proteinuria? Take note of your other symptoms. This will help the doctor identify the underlying cause. Dehydration Dehydration happens when your body loses too much fluid. It's a common, temporary cause of proteinuria. Your body uses water to deliver nutrients, like proteins, to the kidneys. But without enough fluid, it will have difficulty doing so. In turn, the kidneys can't properly recapture proteins. The protein ends up in the urine instead. Other symptoms depend on the severity of dehydration. You may experience fatigue, headaches, dizziness, increased thirst, dark colored urine, decreased urination, dry mouth or skin. Dehydration can be caused by diarrhea, vomiting, excessive sweating, fever, no drinking enough. Water, high blood pressure, high blood pressure, or hypertension, can weaken the blood vessels in the kidneys. This decreases their ability to reabsorb the protein, which flows into the urine. Since high blood pressure develops slowly, you may not have symptoms for years. But if it becomes severe, it can cause headaches, shortness of breath, nosebleeds. Most cases of high blood pressure don't have an underlying cause. But in some people, high blood pressure is due to kidney disease, a thyroid problems, obstructive sleep apnea, adrenal gland tumors, some medications like birth control or decongestants diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus is a metabolic disorder that causes high levels of blood sugar there are several types of diabetes including type 1 and type 2 diabetes with diabetes high blood sugar forces the kidneys to overfilter the blood this can cause kidney damage allowing protein to leak into the urine Symptoms of diabetes depend on the severity and type. You may have increased thirst and hunger, frequent urination, fatigue, blurry vision, unexplained weight loss, glomerulonephritis, proteinuria may indicate glomerulonephritis, or inflammation of the glomeruli. Normally, when the glomeruli filter blood, they reabsorb protein. But if they're injured, Protein can pass through and enter the urine. Glomerulonephritis can cause a set of symptoms called nephrotic syndrome. In addition to proteinuria, this includes hyperlipidemia, or high blood levels of fat and cholesterol swollen legs, feet, or ankles hypoalbuminemia, or low blood protein levels. It may also cause high blood pressure and hematuria, or red blood cells in the urine. This makes urine look pink or cola colored. Typically, glomerulonephritis happens when the immune system attacks the kidneys. It's been associated with bacterial endocarditis, hepatitis, hepatitis, clupus, diabetic nephropathy, high blood pressure, chronic kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease, CKD, is the progressive loss of kidney function. It may cause proteinuria in the early stages, but it usually doesn't cause any noticeable symptoms. As CKD progresses, you might experience 
shortness of breath, frequent urination, hiccups, fatigue, and nausea, vomiting, trouble sleeping, dre, itchy skin, swollen hands and feet, poor appetite. The following diseases can damage the kidneys and lead to CKD, glomerulonephritis, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, interstitial nephritis, polycystic kidney disease, recurring kidney infection. If CKD progresses, it can result in kidney failure. Autoimmune diseases The immune system normally produces antibodies and immunoglobulins that fight foreign organisms. But if you have an autoimmune disease, the immune system makes antibodies and immunoglobulins that attack the body's tissues. These substances are called autoantibodies. If the autoantibodies injure the glomeruli, inflammation can occur. This leads to kidney damage and eventually, proteinuria. The following autoimmune diseases are associated with proteinuria, systemic lupus erythematosus. While systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, mainly involves the skin and joints, it can also affect the kidneys. Good Pasture Syndrome In Good Pasture Syndrome, the autoantibodies specifically attack the kidneys and lungs. IgA nephropathy IgA nephropathy happens when deposits of immunoglobulin A accumulate in the glomeruli, preeclampsia and preeclampsia. A pregnant person develops high blood pressure at or after 20 weeks of pregnancy. This temporarily impairs the kidney's ability to filter protein, which causes proteinuria. Other preeclampsia symptoms include swollen hands and face headaches, blurry vision, abdominal pain on the right side, increased weight gain. Though preeclampsia usually goes away after delivery, it's a serious condition that can lead to preterm birth. Pregnant individuals with preeclampsia should be carefully monitored. Cancer in severe cases, proteinuria is due to cancer. Several types of cancer are associated with high urine protein levels including renal cell carcinoma, lung cancer, breast cancer, colorectal cancer, and Hodgkin's lymphoma. Hodgkin's lymphoma multiple myeloma. It's thought that the inflammatory effect of cancer alters kidney function. In some conditions, like multiple myeloma, kidney damage occurs when abnormal proteins in the blood bind with normal proteins in the urine. As kidney function declines, more protein ends up in the urine. Though cancer symptoms vary greatly, general symptoms include unexplained weight loss, fatigue, fever, pain, skin changes, risk factors for proteinuria. Certain people are more likely to develop proteinuria. Common risk factors include age. Adults 65 and older are more susceptible to dehydration and kidney issues. Pregnant people older than 40 have a greater risk of preeclampsia. People with high blood pressure have higher risk for diabetes and kidney disorders. Diabetes Diabetes is the most common cause of CKD. It's also associated with preeclampsia and glomerulonephritis. Family history You're more likely to develop proteinuria if you have a family history of kidney disease or preeclampsia. Certain ethnicities People of African American, Latino, American Indian, and Asian descent have a greater risk of kidney issues, being overweight or obese. High blood pressure, diabetes, and preeclampsia are associated with being overweight or obese. What are the symptoms of protein in urine? In the early stages of kidney damage, you won't have any symptoms. That's because there are only small amounts of protein in your urine. But as kidney damage progresses, more protein will pass into your urine. This may cause symptoms like frothy, foamy urine, swollen hands, feet, face, or abdomen, frequent urination, muscle cramps at night, nausea, vomiting, poor appetite, testing for protein in urine. The only way to diagnose proteinuria is through a urine test, which measures the amount of protein in your urine. The test takes place in a doctor's office. During the procedure, you urinate into a specimen cup. The doctor places a dipstick, or a small plastic stick coated with chemicals, into the urine sample. If it has too much protein, 
the stick will change color. The rest of the urine will be sent to a lab, where it's examined under a microscope. If your doctor thinks you have kidney issues, they'll repeat the urine test three times in three months. This helps them rule out temporary causes of proteinuria. A doctor might also use the following tests to determine what's causing your proteinuria colon 24-hour urine collection. In a 24-hour urine test, your urine is collected over 24 hours and sent to a lab. Glomerular filtrate rate, GMR, blood test. This test checks your kidney function. Imaging tests, you may get an ultrasound or CT scan, which take detailed photos of your kidneys and urinary tract. Kidney biopsy. A sample of your kidney is removed and examined for signs of kidney damage. Proteinuria treatment if you have temporary or mild proteinuria, you likely won't need treatment. But if you have consistent proteinuria, you'll need to treat the underlying condition. Treatment may include dietary changes. If you have kidney disease, diabetes, or high blood pressure, a doctor will recommend specific diet changes. Weight loss. Losing weight can manage conditions that impair kidney function. Blood pressure medication. If you have hypertension or diabetes, the doctor might prescribe medication to help lower your blood pressure. Diabetes medication. You may need medication or insulin therapy to control high blood glucose. Dialysis. In glomerulonephritis and kidney failure, dialysis is used to manage high blood pressure and fluids. Take away proteinuria often means that your kidneys aren't properly filtering blood. Therefore, the goal of treatment is to manage the underlying condition. A doctor can create a treatment plan to help protect your kidneys.